Hey guys, so I thought I would do a chatty vlog video today just to chat to you guys, catch up on a few things, tell you guys what I'm up to, show a few new things. Um, so yeah, I'm here in my studio. I have a new desk that I got not yesterday, the day before yesterday and I'm so happy with it. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, first, I just want to talk about a few things. So today is Friday. It's been so hot these past few days. 25, 26 degrees, like proper summer. I'm here in my studio to do some work, but also just to vlog a little bit. Um, today, we're actually going to celebrate my cousin Diva's birthday. She's turning 28. Um, it's actually almost two weeks after her birthday but we didn't celebrate on her actual day because she was in Spain, I was in China, so it wasn't technically possible. If you want, I can actually show you what we got for her. So Daiwa is a huge fan of Pandora. She has a Pandora bracelet and she loves collecting charms. So we got her, I actually went and picked this one out myself. Um, Aircon is going on blast because it's super hot in my studio. I have these big windows and it gets like, it's almost like a greenhouse in here. So here we go. So it's a silver star and it has um, blue crystals in different shades of blue. I just think it's so pretty. Another part of her present, I got her this book on book depository. So you guys might know by now that I absolutely love Madeleine Shaw and her cookbooks are amazing. So this is my all time favorite cookbook. So I wanted to get it for Diva as well. It says a ready, steady glow. Um, her first book was Get the Glow and it's actually the one that I don't own. Um, so yeah, but I absolutely adore this book. It has such incredible recipes. It's got everything. It's not vegan, but um, it has like vegan and non-vegan recipes, just a bunch of like healthy, yummy, easy to make dishes. Yeah, this one, fennel, cabbage and Dijon spice slaw. I cooked this and it was so yummy. So yeah, basically, and I love Madeline as a person. If you don't follow her on YouTube, you definitely should. She is a yoga teacher as well. So just like an all round wonderful person. And she's always so smiley and happy and positive. I think that I will enjoy this book. And I actually got her last book for myself recently as I got this one. I also got myself, I think it's called A Year of Beautiful Eating or something like that. You basically have spring, summer, autumn, winter and then uh, meals for every season and it's so good. I already cooked one uh, dish from her book yesterday. It was like veggie stew in coconut milk. It was just absolutely incredible. My mom loved it as well. Um, so yeah, and I also got a few jewelry pieces for her from Lovers and Liars or Liars and Lovers. I really like this line. You can get it on ASOS. I think it's a little bit better if I sit this way, right? So um, yeah, this Sunday, which means the day after tomorrow, we are going to Scotland. So you guys know how much I wanted to go to Scotland. It's been my dream ever since I watched Outlander. I was just... I became obsessed with Scotland as I told you I got a bunch of books about Scotland. It just fascinates me and uh, I told you that I re-watched Outlander again with my parents and I got them hooked on Outlander as well. So it's my dad's birthday this Tuesday. I thought what better present than traveling, right? So I secretly booked my dad, mom and me a trip to Scotland. <clears throat> my brother is not going because he cannot take a holiday of work, unfortunately. So yeah, I got us a really cute Airbnb in Glasgow. So we're flying to Glasgow Sunday um, in the morning and by midday we'll already be in Glasgow. So I also rented us a car so we'll drive everywhere. Well, my dad is gonna drive because I have no idea how to drive on the other side of the road and I'm not gonna trust myself to that. So yeah, we have a full Monday in Glasgow as well. But my auntie said that there's not that much to see in Glasgow in comparison to Edinburgh. So I think we'll just maybe drive outside the city 
and then Tuesday, which is my dad's actual birthday, we're gonna drive up north to Inverness where the action starts in Outlander. So Claire and her husband are on holiday in Inverness at the beginning of Outlander. So up north we'll see the highlands of Scotland, uh, Loch, hopefully we'll see Loch Ness as well. Um, we will go to the moor of um, Culloden Battle. And yeah, just visit all those historical places and uh, you know the places we saw in Outlander as well. I'm so excited about that. And um, again, we'll stay in a really like traditional Scottish house there in Inverness. So yeah, after Inverness, we will drive to Edinburgh. We'll spend a full day in Edinburgh and uh, also half of the next day. In Edinburgh, I really, really want to go to Camera Obscura, that optical illusions place. Um, and hopefully visit the cafe where JK Rowling wrote Harry Potter. So I'm so, so, so thrilled to go to Scotland finally, my dream come true. Oh, the book I'm currently reading. So I started reading it on a plane to China and uh, I read maybe 50 pages, but then I didn't really pick it up when I was in China because we would go to sleep so late anyway, there was no time for reading. I'm reading it slowly, but it actually on itself is a very quick read. If I dedicated some time, I would read it really quickly. This book is definitely a page turner. Oh, by the way, I didn't even mention what it is. It's me before you. Um, and the movie features Emilia Clark, and I cannot wait to watch it but a lot of people actually told me that the movie is crap and the book is really good I'm 100 pages in and I'm loving it it's, it's fun, it's easy, it's a great summer read so far all I can tell it's about a guy who got into an accident he cannot move his body um, apart from his head. And the protagonist in the book, Louisa Clark, she becomes his caretaker. Oh, that's a ticket to Forbidden City. <laughs> yeah, she becomes his caretaker and uh, at first the guy is very snappy and rude to her. He just doesn't want to interact with her and she really struggles communicating with him. She hates her job because she thinks he hates her. They started getting along and I'm curious to see where it takes because it looks like it is a love story from the picture of the movie here. Um, and also the name of the book implies that it it probably is a love story. Yesterday I got a manicure at a new place in Klepera. So there's this new beauty studio that opens on the 26th of this month and I was invited to get my nails done. It's called um, Je am Beauty, Je vais la magique, I think it's her name. Let me check. Yes, Je vais la magique, it's nail salon actually, but they will do other things. Uh, I believe hair and makeup as well, but for the moment it's mostly a nail salon and it's huge. It's on Turgos Street 16. If you're interested and if you are from Klepeda and if you want to get your nails done, I highly recommend it. So I got my nails done by a girl called Victoria and she did a really good job. Can you guys see? So I went for this kind of no nail polish nail polish look it's a gel polish um they use a brand called victoria bin and i thought when i chose the color i thought it's gonna be more intense but it ended up looking you know like barely there they just look very like nice and polished and clean it's like a very simple fresh manicure almost like a bridal manicure or great for the office as well I also just got a new handbag I have so many things to talk about with you guys I kind of missed vlogging and just chatting about random things in my life so um, yeah I was looking for a vintage Dior bag on Vestiaire Collective uh, they usually have a really good selection of bags and in the past I got a Chloe bag from them so um, I was looking for Dior saddle bag and they have loads of those but I feel like they're becoming super popular. It's really funny how these bags were super popular in the past and now they've come back and everyone is buying these vintage bags. Um, but I've decided to get myself a pochette instead. 
I can't remember the exact name of this I'm gonna link it down below for you guys or like try and find these bags um, on vintage websites so yeah I think it's really pretty because it's different it's embroidered and it's in a really good shape still really good quality considering it's an old bag well it does have cracks on the strap but that doesn't really bother me too much because they're not too bad um, so it is a canvas bag but it is coated so you know it's very durable so if you spill something on it won't be a problem to just wipe it off um, yeah I feel like it's a very practical finish and look at this embroidery it's so pretty it doesn't go with my outfit today at all but I couldn't be bothered to you know transport my things from this bag into another bag um, it is a very small bag but it fits everything I need for a daily basis personally really like carrying tiny little bags now um, so yeah that's one side and then the other side is plain so you can you know wear it like this if you want if you don't really want to see the flowers this side obviously if you want something more fun and colorful this is a very pretty summer bag I feel like it would look extremely beautiful with like an all-white outfit like a long white dress I'm gonna show you guys what fits inside the bag actually quite a lot of stuff so let's do what's in my bag I have some wet wipes some simple tissues I've got my favorite lipstick of all time you guys know it's uh, choco cream from Maybelline I have my new lip balm from fresh it's a sugar lip balm with SPF really really like this lip balm a tampon because I'm on my period sorry for TMI another tampon uh, Invisibubble a butterfly clip I love those because sometimes my hair gets on my nerves and recently I've been really enjoying just clipping my hair back letting these few pieces out in the front like that so I like to have this hair clip on me um, a pen uh, rollerball perfume this one I actually got in China in that uh, beautiful shop where they had um, beauty products and vintage packaging I don't really know the brand it just says made in Shanghai and it's a geranium fragrance and it smells so beautiful very reminiscent of Chanel Coco Mademoiselle which by the way I have on today really love that perfume and this is great for touch-ups I have this clear case for my discount and loyalty cards I have so many of them more than I probably need and this clear case is from mango then I have a blister if I get a blister a tiny bit of spearmint gum some change and uh, my card holder which has my card and also my ID, my driver's license. Um, I like to keep some Polaroid pictures of Louis, Linda and I. This one is super cute. It's quite dark, but it's really cute. And my boyfriend and I, um, Paris. And then I'm gonna show you guys. I actually have some Chinese money left. So I have 21 yen. This is what Chinese money looks like. Really beautiful, actually. Um, and yeah, that's everything in my bag. And my phone, I actually carry it in my hand, but it fits in the bag perfectly. No problem. One euro cent. Um, so that's the inside of the bag. It's beige and it's in perfect condition. No stains at all has this um, leather piece which says Christian Dior and it has a little uh, pocket in here so yeah I think it's a really good size for like an everyday bag just throw everything in and go I think my sunglasses would fit because there's still room in here but I can put my phone in and uh, close the bag it has a really good 
sturdy, like super good quality zipper. So I'm very, very pleased with my new vintage Dior bag. Um, as I said, I'm gonna try and link similar ones or this model but non-embroidered one because I think this one is quite rare. I think it's probably time for me to show you my new desk and oh my outfit because I really like it today. Okay guys, so here is my desk. I actually put it up myself so kind of proud about that. Um, yeah, I got it in Yesk, which is our interior shop. I believe it's Scandinavian interior shop. I looked up on Ikea. Um, I liked a few desks. There was nothing that I actually loved. Like the wood was warm tone and I needed this exact color wood because look, I've got a sink there and it matches as well as this desk and the floor as well, so I couldn't have warm toned wood here. By the way, I just moved this couch here. That's what I was sitting on, but it doesn't, it's too big for the desk, so I'll get a proper, you know, a simple chair. And yeah, so this is gonna be my new workspace. You guys know I do all my filming here. I don't really do makeup here in my studio anymore. That didn't work out, it's not for me. Um, so this is just gonna be my office for filming, editing, all my YouTube, social media stuff, um, whatever is going on. Um, and um, I'm gonna show you around. So the desk has one drawer, which is actually enough for me. I have a little bit of everything in here. Here is my laptop. The case is from Woof that you can get on Madame Juju. I'm gonna link it for you below. Here I just keep a bunch of folders, all my fashion week invites, some inspiration and whatnot. Um, this one was actually a present to my dad, but he's not using it, so he gave it to me. By the way, today is 11th and it's Friday. I'm gonna have to change that. My Dove Coconut Hand Cream Vitamin E face mist from the body shop. This little dish trinket I got recently from Maxima. These clips, paper clips, are from Tiger. My Dior lip glow. Um, and then some stationery pens, a lip balm. This pot is from Tiger as well. Love it. This water jug is from H&M Home. This container is from Tiger as well as the fizzy candy from Tiger as well. And then my prints, I actually uh, hung them up yesterday and I love them. They've been sitting in this wardrobe for quite a while now and they're finally up. So I'm gonna show them a little bit closer to you guys. Love this one so much. I love the colors. It's so soft um, and light and it reminds me of our sea, our Baltic beaches with our beautiful white sand. Um, then I've got this beautiful leaf. Then this kind of a lipstick swatch. And then this one which says love. So yeah, as I said, I only need a chair now and um, I'm all set for work. Here's where I keep my lights and tripod. And here I got this little organizer from Yisk as well. So that's basically the overlook of my studio at the moment. Oh, this mirror used to be where my desk is, uh, so I'll have to hang it up somewhere. I have no idea where it's gonna go for the moment, but I don't know, I'll find a place for it. Yeah, it just looks very cozy and I'm just so happy to come here every day. It just makes me more motivated and excited to work. Um, why is it so dark here? I don't get it. So my top is, my top and this vest are from H&M that you guys saw in my most recent haul video. I just adore the color of this blouse. I mean, yeah, I'm just mad about this shade of blue. And then this vest, it just, I don't know, I think it goes really nice with this top. Uh, it gives this nice kind of feminine silhouette. And these clots are also so comfortable. They're either Zara or Mango, super old, but they're just so comfy and kind of classy at the same time. 
and then my shoes are these same white uh, flats that I got from Dania they're by the brand called Autre and they're the comfiest thing ever like super soft comfy leather so yeah that's my outfit of the day now I think I'm gonna go get myself some bubble tea because they do have it here I remember not really liking the bubbles when I tried it here and I went, you know, crazy about milk tea in China. I just want to see if they have milk tea here. Um, so let's go and have a look together, shall we? I think it's both good and dangerous to be surrounded by coffee shops and bakeries. So they didn't have bubble tea. The girl said, well, you have to wait about one hour for them to cool off, blah, blah, blah. I was like, heck no. So I got a smoothie instead. It's a coconut smoothie, but it's more like pina colada. It has a, quite a lot of pineapple and I don't like pina coladas at all, but it's so cool and refreshing that I'm quite enjoying it, to be honest. And then, um, so it's called Preza Kepiklele, Preza Bakery. I got a bunch of coconut cookies. Look at them. Oh my god, these look so good. Oh my god, they smell so good. Mm, so coconutty. Oh my god. So I'm definitely going back. Oh my god. It's basically like coconut flakes and they're like golden and crusty on the outside but it's so squishy and soft on the inside oh my god mm. these are heavenly it's not good at all that these are like two minutes away from me because i think every time i'm here i will go to get some wow by the way i want to show you guys a new release from daniel wellington so i recently got this box and they have released two new straps so you can choose the watch that you want um, it can be with a black face white face silver or rose gold i went for my favorite rose gold watch with a white face and these are their two new straps so this beautiful burgundy one is called roselyn and that's the one i've been wearing recently and then they also have this navy blue strap called base water so uh yeah these are their two new colors and uh, i feel like they're neutral shades they really go with everything uh, as i said this is the one that i've been wearing loads and it just goes with any outfit i wear pretty much and you guys probably know how i feel about this shade it's one of my favorites you can use coupon code chanelette just enter it at a checkout and you will get uh, the set with 10 percent off um, or any watch on their website you get two interchangeable straps which i think is really cool and you guys know i've been a fan of their watches for many many years so i thought i'll show you guys what it looks like on i think it looks really pretty uh, by the way it's the 36 millimeter watch so um i've uploaded my last China vlog let the Friday begin I've got some music on and I still have about half an hour to kill so I think I'm gonna do Instagram live because I haven't done one of those in absolutely forever and I got messages from you guys saying that you miss my insta lives tomorrow I'm not gonna vlog because I'll be just packing and like you know getting ready for the trip, just looking up places to visit. Yeah, for sure I'm gonna vlog Scotland. So that's gonna be four days, four or five days. We'll see you very soon, bye.